welcome back we got our uh, monster Mojave here that uh, has something broke in it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look get this uh, center uh, transmission or diff spur cover or whatever it's called taken apart and see what broke in it that all feels okay seems to be under load get some grease put in this thing oh, gas gets backwards I think we can get to the rear diff relatively easy make sense so I'm gonna get this thing all put back together they're really simple to work on well except getting to that uh, rear diff but for the most part everything's all been pretty easy to work on except for getting to these diffs onto the chassis right there kind of a neat design now I know now I understand why uh, M2C makes the hinge pins 
because these will bend. So a lot of stuff is uh, making sense working on this thing. But I definitely need to get a bigger driver set. Or I could just make my own out of one of these. So I'm going to leave the rear bumper off for now. But as you see, everything is sounding really, really good. So I think I, I God, there was so much mud in the back of that thing. I am going to fire this thing up and see if I can hear a noise. And I think, uh, I think this is going to need some batteries too. I got all my wiring on. I have a feeling it's inside the motor, like RC guy was saying. I'm really starting to think it's inside this motor. He was saying when the armature or something comes loose that it could uh, it could literally make that noise because all the gears are fine. It's just every now and then coming out of this motor and I lose power in, in first too. feeling I mean this motor might be broken. Those three beeps coming out of the ESC. 
I am going to look on the chart and see what those three beeps are. So three beeps, one, two, three, sensor loss. I really think RC Guy Garage is correct and it's inside this motor. This uh, 2028, I have a feeling is broken. I think it came apart on the inside. All right. Well, here's what I did. I've taken the sensor wire and I've unplugged it from the ESC. Because I have because I told this ESC that this is a censored system, it's still giving me the three beep warning. The three beeps in popping out this, where is it? I believe it's on the inside, here we go. So here's the chart. Three beeps, one, two, three, sensor lost. So what happened was talking to RC Guy Garage, there's a sensor in the back on this motor. And I believe with the impacts, it's now damaged that sensor because having this sensor wire off, I have no issues. That's reverse. my brake reverse is working so I think the sensor on the back it was like cogging real bad that's what was going on when I was going into reverse um, because it didn't know where the sensor was at it didn't know where the to put the power the ESC was basically putting power and ground to the wrong magnets now it could have shifted on the inside of this um, magnets could have shifted, anything could have happened. I don't know, but it's definitely happened on the inside of this. Now, I do have this motor kicked way out, and this plastic in this corner is, uh, is pretty far, so if this corner hits the ground, it literally can touch the corner of this motor because the motor is so far out on that motor mount. So, I'm now going to, for now, I'm going to go ahead and program this ESC to tell it it's not a censored system. I'm going to lose the wire and I'm going to go run this thing again to see if it's just the sensor in the back has an issue or did the whole motor come apart on the inside. That we don't know. But RC Guy Garage was definitely, uh, definitely right on that one. Um, and by unplugging the sensor wire, we were able to figure it out. So there you go.